What do you think is the most important thing in a movie? The score, the plot, the characters? Well, for me, it's the last two. I think that believable and relatable characters can make the audience much more engaged with the story. For those who don't know, I am making a 3D short film called The Heist in Blender and today I want to tell you about the topic I am deeply passionate about, which is the characters as well as the world that they live in. Since I was a little dumb blob, I spent countless hours playing with Legos, coming up with original stories and unique characters. Trust me, the lore was fucking deep. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Now that I am older, but not so much smarter, I can bring some of my old ideas from when I was a kid into new, original and vibrant characters. And I want to show you them today, as well as tell you a bit about their personality and backstory without spoiling things. Alright, enough of dilly dally, let me introduce you to the protagonist of the short film. Let's start with Victoria, because she was the first character I've come up with with the intention of ever making a story. She was basically born before I even knew what kind of movie I wanted to make because I just really liked the character design. She was specifically born almost four years ago on December 10, 2020. For some of you, that date could spark some memories, because that is the date when Cyberpunk 2077 came out. Victoria was the V that I created and played for more than 200 hours over the last 4 years, so I became pretty attached to the character, and she kinda grew up with me. Actually, I've been using the model from the game for the blackout of the film, but that will change soon. For those of you with a keen eye, you might have seen a bit of similarity to some other character from a certain anime. Yes, most of Victoria's character design is inspired by Jolene Cujo, as well as her personality is also influenced a bit from Jolene, however, most of it is inspired by V, or rather choices I have made as V in Cyberpunk 2077. So I have a pretty good understanding of what her personality is, and I can say that she is confident, if not a little cocky, as well she has a gift of the gap. But I don't want to make my characters perfect, because I want them to be relatable, so she's also very impulsive and she's haunted from something in her past which will be explored a little in the movie. I want to make my protagonists feel real and it's important to know that the heist takes place in a certain end key point of the story so the characters have a past and they know each other. I did a slight redesign of the character and commissioned Anna who is a very talented character artist to make my vision come to life. However, I started to learn how to draw myself but my drawings still look bad. So it's a good thing that I hired someone professional. In the coming devlogs I will create a new model of Victoria with the new design in mind, so subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that. Actually, I can even show you a bit of the progress from this because I commissioned a 3D artist to sculpt her face. Because I tried to download a base head and edit it to match the proportions of the original head, but it looked awful. <laughs> So I hired a professional to do it for me, but I am learning to sculpt a face to create a head for Kyle. Or Sam. God damn it, I need to finally decide how to name him. Speaking of Kyle, or Sam, he's the second protagonist I designed, but this time with clear intention for this short film. He, or at least his original design, was even my first real Blender artwork. Oh you see, there he is. Contrary to Victoria, I had a lot of trouble coming up with his new design. At one point I wanted to give him a long coat, but when I realized how many cloth simulations I will have to make to make it look believable, I decided to remove the coat and began looking for alternative outfits. I started looking for inspiration in some other characters that I liked and finally came up with the design that combined the design of such characters like Dexter from Dexter, Astarion from Baldur's Gate, I was Right there! Risotto from Jojo and Sam from Gen V. Did you know Miguel from Spider Man was designed to be a first trap? I'm still experimenting with his design, like colors for example, so you can let me know which color scheme is the best. I also wanted to give him a more cyberpunky look by reusing some of my old ideas from my childhood, like the metal hand that can turn into some kind of powerful fist. I know how that sounds, you will have to see it in action. But thanks to that it tells us that Kyle 
or Sam has some kind of backstory that can be explored because he also has a traumatic experience similar to Victoria's ones. So they share a similar tragedy which binds them together earlier in the story. When it comes to his personality, he's much colder and refined than Victoria. He's also keen in hacking stuff which also will be reflected in the story of the film. So I hope you'll fall in love with Victoria and Kyle or fuck. Alright, time to finally pick a name for him. And the, the final Superman name for the games. character is... Kyle. Fuck! I gotta say that it was kinda magical combining two concept arts and seeing for the first time the two protagonists standing together in one picture and not just imagining them in my head. I'm sorry that I can't talk more about their backstory but all of these things will be revealed in the future films. I can't wait to show you more and bring these two to life by making 3D models of them. Which like I said earlier is happening right now but I'll talk about it in the future devlogs. Because right now my priority is to create the main rooms which will be the actual next devlog. If you want to support this project, you can simply like the video and subscribe to my channel. And if you're feeling extra generous, you can donate to me on Ko-fi for a spot in the end credits of the video. But for now, if you want to see the first devlog in the series and see how the work began, click this video.